I like how flexible and how dynamic the SII team has been. Um, you know, On Semiconductor continues to expand capabilities and part of that expansion is becoming to, uh, to bring full system solutions to our customers. Uh, as you know, uh, we have a wide range of products. All of these require a lot of additional um, uh, user interface and support. Probably the biggest surprise has been the level of ownership that the SI engineers have taken. Uh, you know, we engage with projects and um, they seem to be very much um, dedicated to the success of the project. Um, it's not just a simple matter of, uh, you know, we give them some requirements and then they just grind it out and give us back exactly what we ask for. Uh, what seems to be happening is that the teams have been working together in a more collaborative fashion. So. What we end up with is, 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 I think, constructive feedback. We've made architectural choices that have been more collaborative, so we end up with a better product. Um, you know, I think it's a level of ownership that's very refreshing. We've been able to bring solutions to bear on the market um, that are more complete, I think higher quality, uh, than even some of the, some of the, the software uh, components or software pieces that we've developed internally. While functional, uh, I think the breadth of experience with the team at SII has, has been able to uh, really leverage the quality of what we're pulling together. You know, I think the touch and feel of some of our, some of our uh, user interface solutions have been much better. The team has been responsive and uh, you know, execution to schedule and commitments have been you know, absolutely spotless. So, you know, it's difficult to identify something that we'd say we'd like to improve on. Of course, everybody would always say, well, make it cost less or, you know, uh, make it take less time. But, but those are, you know, those are simple project management, to, you know, and scope execution questions. So, yeah, I mean, I think we're a very satisfied customer today. I think that the capabilities and, and the education levels of the engineers have been really excellent. Um, they're, you know, they're good at communication. Uh, they've been able to... Uh, communicate their thoughts, needs, uh, expectations very clearly. Uh, the documentation that comes along with the uh, uh, deliverables have been excellent. Uh, they really have been top-notch engineers. So, um, you know, again, I find that uh, I think this is a good uh, region for us to make uh, ongoing investments in. Financial aspects, I, I think, are always a common denominator. I mean, there's, you know, a, a, a vendor has to be competitive to be, to be in the running. But to be a strategic partner, um, it really requires, I would say, ongoing investment, capabilities that are uh, consistent with our development strategy and roadmap. Uh, you know, are you working on the platforms that we need you to be working on? Do you have the technologies that uh, complement our capabilities? Uh, but also, I think scalability. Um, you know, we will make investments in some areas that, you know, some are low risk, some are high risk. Um, the decision to work with a strategic external partner would be uh, based on, you know, how quickly can we leverage or uh, add in additional resourcing if, if one of our investments turns out to be a very positive one and it, and it, and it needs a lot of extra support very quickly. Um, I think we find that external partnerships in those areas are, are much easier to manage and we can, we can uh, grow headcount much more quickly than we could with our own internal resources. So we, we try to balance those two.